and I'm gonna just break down the whole setup while it's happening. So right here, let's put the EMAs on, put everything on. Now this look like uptrend, like straight up. This look like uptrend, mm -hmm. and then boom, that happens. Ah, now when that happens, it's two thing that it's two things that's happening. We got a break of structure, and that's aggressive selling. Aggressive selling is supply. So I would have my my zone marked up like this. But this also this setup have a gap. Now where's the gap? Take this off. The gap is from the top of that green candle to the current close of this red candle. So from right here to right there, that's the gap that need to get filled for it to come back into that zone. Now this is a break of structure because they broke all they made a whole new low. They broke mm -hmm. this low right there with that move. They made a whole new low. So since it's following structure, when stuff like this happens, that that that's our trigger to get in. Just like this. That is our trigger to get in. So they broke up, they broke a low, just like they broke it right here. And they broke structure. Mm -hmm. And that's this is where we should be getting in at. Right here. That's just market structure following its structure. You know what I'm saying? So let me uh, replay it. Okay. Now let's fast forward. Now, what, what does this do? They're closing in the gap. Now the gap is from right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like that. I'm gonna fast forward. Now they haven't they haven't went back up yet. They haven't went back up. They just playing around. You see, you gotta be patient with this stuff too. Okay. All right. Now it's getting a little bit smaller. Because remember, we're looking at the body of the candle to the right hand side of price. So this candle right here. And it's always gonna be uh, this green one, right? No, the, the gap is on the red one. That's the gap. Remember, we're looking to the right hand side of price of the body. Oh, okay, yeah. I see, uh, I see it then. You see it? So yeah. like that wick is getting it's closing in the gap just a little bit. Okay, so it'll be that red one. Yeah. Yep. So now that's the current gap. That's that's the current one. Fast forward. Okay, they they coming up real slowly. Real slowly. Now they're closing it in. Closing it in. Okay. Fast forward. They're closing it in some more. Okay. Fast forward. Uh, they did just a little smidge, just a little bit. Just throw you off, make you scared. Yeah. <laughs> but we 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 know yeah, where we they already went. know where it's going though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta wait. Wait, wait. Okay, just just a little tad bit, just just a little bit. Okay, they're coming. Okay, now they're coming real close now. Now we should be ready, like at this point, you should be ready. You shouldn't even be waiting. Mm -hmm. Now Here we go. Let's see what happened after this. Like okay. I've entered the wrong supply zone because mm -hmm. I've seen like a supply on top of a supply before, mm -hmm. but I take the bottom one, mm -hmm. thinking just because like it's the most current one. Yeah, but nah, nah, it don't work. Like that. <laughs> it don't work. Like it don't that. work like that. It do not That's work tough. like that. Okay, so. This is a supply and this have a gap on it. The gap is from the bottom of that green candle to right here. Okay, remember, buy you the candle, look to the right hand side of price. So we're gonna fast forward and then we're just gonna just pay attention to what happened. Fast forward, fast forward. Okay, boom. Now they're in your zone. There is no more gap. There is no more gap. They broke structure. And all we're doing is waiting for it to break the previous candle, like it tapped the zone, break previous candle. So this should be our entry if they choose to break. Yeah, with if this they candle. go lower than that. If they do, now they might do another candle and then it'd be another different break of the candle. You know what I'm saying? So, where where is the gap right here? I'm, I'm gonna let you do it. Where, where do you think is the gap in that shaded area? And we're, like after I, what I just told you, where do you think is the gap at? In, in this whole shaded area? Yeah, just that shaded area. Well, from right from right here, from right here. Where is the gap at that needs to get filled? From right here? Only in the shaded area. Okay. Um, I'll let you mark it up. It needs to get filled. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, you gotta um, you gotta unlock it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. Okay, hold on, hold on. So you gotta uh, uh, click, click, click this button right there. 
None of the uh, this one. Yeah, right there. And then you can drag it over. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's your final answer, bro. Anytime you said, you said the top of the body, right? What I said? I'm trying to remember. Top of the body. Yeah, that's my final answer. Is that the gap? That is the gap. That is the gap. No, that is the gap. That is the gap. I mean, I didn't want to make it like super hard on you, but it's it is a gap down here. But you understand it though, like, like it's another gap down here, from right here to right there. Ah, uh, yeah, you right, you right. You feel me? But like, no, you understand though, like you didn't, cause some people they have it like, um, have it, like marked up like right here, or they have a gap right, right there, uh, or you something said, like that. You said that at the top. Right there, yep, and yep. right there. From right there, yeah. So that has to get filled in. Now we don't know when they're going to do it, but that's definitely something that's going to get covered in the near future, or it can even take a day. So let's say you see how this trade is has a gap at the top, a gap at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Will it always go for the one at the bottom first? No, we don't know when they're going to fill it in. We just have to always wait and prepare. We never know when they want to fill in the gap. Just like, so you would make this this supply right here, so you would draw your zone right here. Right? Yep, yep, exactly. And then you would just have to wait for it to re-enter that zone. Yeah. Now you see, you see they never came back into that zone. They just At kept all. dropping. So no trade. There is no trade. For the day. For the day, yeah. Because yeah, they're going to come back. Because yeah. I didn't yeah. I didn't did a trade from last week and hit on it again, the same area. Yeah, yeah. They, gonna, they, they don't have to come back that same day. It can come back tomorrow, and then it mm. just tap and then drop. But the later the zone is, like the older the zone is, the more likely it will not hold. So I like the most recent oh, supply and demand okay. zone. Okay, so that's why. I, so that's probably the reason why I I be seeing consolidation. Like yeah, it'd be a zone from a long ass three time three ago, days ago, and literally. And we on a five minutes. So like, if you on a five minute, you want the most recent zone, unless it has a higher time frame confluence. Gotcha. Now, now that's just you know what I'm saying. I have to show you that another day. But basically, yeah. It could be a one hour supply. You can scale down the zone to make it a five minute supply. That's what I normally do, but I know you say you only use the five minute. No, I, I answer on the five minute. I do oh. have setups that, that be having um higher time frame. So points. will it be easier to make my gaps on the on the, the time frame I'm gonna enter or the hour? The time frame you're gonna enter. Okay. For sure. Make sure the time frame that's enter. But yeah, that's definitely like, this is like the foundation of the strategy. If you really don't understand gaps, you're gonna be like kind of confused a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But like, you kind of got like a good idea of like how gaps are. Supply uh, and demand, like this strategy, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This motherfucker, it worked by 80, 90% of the time. So like, I was just thinking, I'm just untouchable at this point. Nah, Let's go back to the psychology. Yeah. I'm like, shit, I got a winning strategy. Yeah, bro. Win some money anytime. No, nah, it's not. It's, nah, it ain't, it ain't like that. that <laughs> it's not like that, bro. No, nah, bro. I lose money too. Like you just gotta be able to manage your risk, bro, and pick and choose which setups make more sense to you, and take setups that really be having a break of structure because that really so be helpful. always. I need to have the zone before the break in structure. Yes, always. But no, not always though, because I take some that don't have a break of structure and they win. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it just. Do you want to take steps that have a break of structure or you don't? Because some some of my students they I like don't. Them both. You like them both? I yeah. I like. I them mean, both. the strategy is cold. Yeah, it, it's it a is. cold strategy. Like, yeah, I feel like let's say you get the zone with the break of structure. Okay, the strategy gonna work eighty five percent of the time. You get it without the break of structure, it's gonna work seventy. It's still gonna. Be yeah, good, it's still gonna. You know what I'm saying? Good, like, it's still most likely gonna hit. Yeah, bro, for sure, for sure. All right, so that's that's it for part one, bro. This is my cameraman, Davey, nice bro. Nice to meet y'all. He trying to learn this, so I'm trying to strap him up. And he get the one-on-one -on -one for the free because this is my guy. So, um, yeah, bro, we're going to end this video. You know what I'm saying? We're just teaching him about gaps, and then I don't know what we're going to do next. But we're going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to lace we're gonna him up, bro. But that's all I got. Peace and love. Bye, man.